him draining the chip bean things. <laughs> you really are hopeless in the kitchen, aren't you? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't seen half of this stuff ever in my life. Okay, switch. I'll what? rinse and you finish cutting the peppers. Oh, I get to play with the sharp and shinies. Yeehaw. Just make sure you get all the seeds out, okay? Okay. <laughs> what is that smell? It's garlic. We're making hummus. And why? I'm just... Because Riley learned to make it when he was stationed overseas, and now he's teaching me. Well, you're voluntarily spending time in the kitchen. I am. I am. So what are we making next? Chicken kebabs. Mm. Isn't that just grilled chicken on a stick? Well, the idea of baked falafel terrifies your mom, so... <laughs> just cut me a break here. Branching out. Oh, here we go. There it is. Want to join us? I... No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, come on, Kay. Step outside your comfort zone. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm already there. Riley's right. Lighten up. Riley's right. Oh, that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Mm, yeah. Oh, I made something delicious. Mm. Adam would definitely have been impressed. Mm. Mm. It sounds like you knew him really pretty well. For the most part. I mean, I didn't know everything. There were some things Adam didn't talk about, but... Like what? I'm not prying, but he never really talked about what went down before he left. I knew he felt bad about it, though. Well, did he say something? Not specifically. Um, he said that he hurt a lot of people and that he always felt bad about it. It was something that he regretted. That's why he felt like he could never come home. Did he want to? Did he want to come home? He felt like he always wanted to come home and make amends. He just didn't know how. Well, he could have at least tried. Would that have worked? You mean, could I have forgiven him? I don't know. I think that's something I've asked myself every day. Did you ever find an answer? Well, you know, Adam's right. He did do some pretty awful things before he left. And um, I'm sure he did feel like the door was closed. And maybe sometimes it was. But... My heart was always open, because, because, you know, he's my boy. He was. <sighs> Hughes. Margo, it's Craig. Yeah. You might want to lose the sarcasm. This is an official call. What's going on? I need to file a report. Crime's been committed. What did you do? Nothing. I'm the victim. Really? What happened? You know, I don't feel comfortable discussing it on the phone. Can you meet me at the station? Oh, all right. Give me 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. Duty calls. I understand. You don't need to explain. All right. Well, I'm go get my stuff. Okay, I'll finish up here. I saw you guys take off earlier. Where'd you go? We were out at uh, Snyder Farm. Oh, yeah? What for? You know that uh, film that I was doing? Yeah, the one about growing up in all the different army bases. Yeah. Well, we found this gun in my dad's personal effects, and I was wondering if you could assemble it for me. On camera? No. And that thing off. I don't want to be on camera. Okay. All right. I'm looking. Mm. Would you do it now? You know, the camera's off. The camera is not the issue. So what is? I'm just not interested in reliving that part of my life. We're not asking you to fire it. I know that. I'm, I'm sorry. This was my idea. Yeah, and it was a good idea. I just, I don't see what the big deal is. You know, I thought they taught you how to put a gun together in a basic training. What is this, some sort of test? I just, I think we all want to see a real soldier in action. What's going on? We were just asking Riley to help Noah out. Really, because it kind of sounded like you're all ganging up against him. Look, it's all right, Mark. No, 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 it's not. Mom, all right. relax. No one's picking on Riley. Good, that's really good. Now I'll get to the greater question. What the hell are you doing running around town with the gun? It's mine. So we found it amongst my dad's personal effects. And it should have stayed there. Well, it's in pieces. As far as I know, it's unlicensed. It dwells. What is it doing in my home? Okay, we're making a film 
about my life, you know, specifically growing up in the military. And we thought it would be good for the film if, if we had footage of a soldier doing what they're trained to do, like, like assembling a gun, you know? Yeah, but hey, if you're, if you're not up for it, I understand. It's not just a gun. I'm sorry, what? It's a Beretta 92 semi-automatic pistol with a 15-round box magazine, a short recoil, weighs about 34 ounces. This one was made prior to 2004. See the trigger guard? It's unmodified. And for the movie buff, this is the same kind of gun they use in the Die Hard flicks. Wow. Are you happy now? Well, it would have been a lot cooler if we got it on film. What is wrong with you? What? Why do you feel you have to challenge Riley at every turn? I, I'm not. Yes, you are, and it's going to stop now. Do you okay, understand? Okay, okay, yes. I'm sorry. Yes, fine. Well, don't just say yes and then not do anything about it. Well, I, I will be nicer to Riley. Good. Because he is our guest, he was a friend of your brother, and he deserves respect. You see that he gets it. What happened? Oh, I twisted my ankle. Oh, is that all? Well, excuse me, could you try and make your disappointment a little less obvious? No, 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 I'm just relieved because they said that you were involved in a hit and run, but they didn't say if you were hit or run or whatever. And it was right outside the police station. Can you believe that? Oh, and no eyewitnesses. None that I'm aware of. But then I didn't see the car coming either. Well, do you think this had anything to do with what you were doing? Crossing the street? <laughs> Oh, the fact that you were there to report a crime. Oh, you mean someone trying to silence me? Well, yeah, it's a distinct possibility if you could. <laughs> no, Margot, trust me, this, this was a random accident. Okay, well, random or not, I'm here, so let's hear it. Hear what? The crime that you were so anxious to report. Oh. I'm sorry, if that's why you came down here, you should have called me first. Why is that? You know, it turns out this, this accident's had a, it's had a profound effect on me. Oh, here we go. No, I'm serious, really. Oh, I'm sure you are. It's just that it, this has put things into a real perspective for me. Uh-huh. And so now you have nothing to say. Sorry. You will be. I think it's pretty obvious you got something against me, Casey. So? So let's deal with it. I'm tired of upsetting your mom. Yeah, I, I am too. That's why I... I think it's time for you to go. Excuse me? What? I, you already offered to leave once. And your mom insisted that I stay. She's just being polite. I'm not the same way. What's that supposed to mean? Meaning you don't belong here. The thing was, when you called me, whatever this crime was, you didn't want to talk to me on the phone about it. <laughs> to be honest, I shouldn't have dialed your number in the first place. I hadn't really thought it through. I changed my mind. You changed your mind? Yeah, yeah. changed my mind. Well, speeding cars will do that to you. Marco, if I thought I was in danger, I would tell you. Would you? You really think I wouldn't want your protection? I've got a young son now, a new business. Things are finally starting to go my way. Oh, so in other words, you've got too much to lose now. Must be a slow crime day at the Oakdale PD. You're starting to see conspiracies where there aren't any. Stay off the ankle. Yeah, thanks for the advice, sis. Let's see if you take it this time. Well, we're all set? Yeah, my lawyer's in New York, but he's flying in. He'll be here tomorrow morning. Uh -huh. You just have to sit tight until then. You think you can manage that? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Paul. No, please. I'm the reason Craig has got you set in his sights. And the least I can do is help you get out of it. Mr. Ryan? Lieutenant Hughes is here to see you both. You don't have to announce me. Thank you. Oh, hi, Margot. It's so nice to see you again. How, oh, how are you? Oh, oh. I appreciate the pleasantries, Rosanna. They're a little wasted on me, Paul. What can we do for you, Lieutenant? Well, I have some questions. I'm hoping the two of you have some answers. Questions? Questions about what? Well, something really interesting just happened. What? 
I got a phone call from Craig, which isn't that interesting, except that he said he wanted to report a crime, but he didn't want to talk to me on the phone. He wanted to talk to me in person at the station. Why are you telling us this riveting story? Because on the way to the station, he got hit by a car. What? Is he dead? No, he's not, Paul. It was a hit and run, just a twisted ankle. Wow. Well, wh why, why are you telling us? What do we have to do with this? Well, it's odd, isn't it? Didn't something like that happen to you? Oh, right. Yeah, yes, well. Yeah. Hmm. Weren't you in a terrible accident on the way to report a crime? A uh, crime that involved Craig, as a matter of fact. It wasn't an accident. Craig ran her off the road, and Rosanna didn't just sprain an ankle. She wound up in a coma. I'm just drawing the parallel here, Paul. The par... It's karmic retribution. That's what it is. Delivered by... I have no idea. Don't look at us. We've been here all afternoon. Really? Can anyone verify that? Millie! Could you see Lieutenant Hughes out, please? And, and feel free to answer any questions that she may have along the way. That's okay, Millie. I know my way out of here. Uh, if you do remember anything, you know where to find me, right? 